Hello, I'm Shui. Today, I'd like to show you a small web application I newly made to help you to convert your Markdown to slides easily. Let's begin. There are a lot of tools out there for the presentation, and uh, we know a lot of them. For example, PowerPoint, Keynote, and Prezi. Well, my favorite in recent years is Review.js. It's very simple to use and very elegant. And even better, you can write down just a simple markdown document and then try to convert it into a Review.js HTML5 slides with a very magical tool called Pandoc. And uh, I even wrote tutorials in Chinese to help others to use the Pandoc to help them to uh, make this kind of conversion. However, in the feedback, I learned a lot of users struggled in the uh, installation and the configuration part. That is too bad. So I made up my mind and developed a web application. It's written in Python, pure Python. I did not use JavaScript. I did that because I used a, a library called Streamlit. It's very powerful. You can write this kind of uh, web applications in just a pure Python. Uh, here is the interface. As you can see here, you need to input your author name. By default, it's my name uh, in Chinese. Well, you can just uh, erase it and put your name into that. And then you can put the uh, indented markdown here. In the latter part of this video, I'd like to show you a demo uh, in which I copied a part uh, of the content from my own research and paste it here and then convert it into uh, Review.js slides. Here you can see this document. It's just, just a, a sample document. And uh, we use different level to uh, control the, uh, the structure. Here is the first level, and we use that as the title of this slides. So we call that small applications. And then here is the uh, section name as the second level. Uh, we use the Markdown to Word. That is another application I built uh, days before. And then uh, in the third level is the title for each single slide. For example, this is a slide called Pain Points. And then starting from the fourth level, there are items that you want to show on each separate slide. And they will uh, be shown up one by one, one by one. So uh, uh, you see that later. And uh, here, as you can see, you can put a, uh, an image at the third level uh, that will make it a full screen image. And uh, even better, you can put some animation, the GIFs in that. And here is an example. Animation, this is the, the name of a uh, slide. And inside that slide, uh, we can put a, uh, a GIF file here. So, uh, well, this, 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 one, <laughs> this one is too fast. So I'll just uh, close that, okay. So as you can see, it's, it's a very uh, simple one, but it, it would be a very good small example to uh, try our ex application. So let's do that. Uh, we copy all the things from uh, this page. Here we paste all the content from the ROM research into this editor. This is Visual Studio Code. And you can see, oh, uh, well, I, I think I'd better use a, a toggle word wrap. Okay. So as you can see here, we have got, uh, this is the links to the, uh, this to the image. And uh, here are the levels. Uh, when we copy it out, it will show up in uh, list format. First level, second level, and third level. Uh, you do not need to use ROM research to use this web application because uh, you can just uh, open up an editor and put all the things inside it and then copy it out and put that into our web application. Let's see. Uh, remove this uh, default author name and put something here. For example, I'll put just uh, Dr. Wang and then we can uh, use it. 
it, the, the paste, we can use the paste command to uh, uh, paste all the things uh, from the uh, ROM research. Now you can see it's identical to what we saw in the uh, Visual Studio editor. And then just uh, hit this button, convert. Okay, here you can, you can see it's running. And here you get the link. Just uh, click on it and you can get the zip file. Here you can see the zip file in download folder, and then you can double click on it, and it, it, it was extracted. And uh, let's open the folder. Here you can see something. Inside this folder, we have got assets uh, containing all the image files. And uh, here is review.js. And then here is the HTML file uh, our web application generated. You can just double click on it and it will give you a slideshow. And here is the slides generated. As you can see, it's the, uh, exactly what the title we expected. And here is my name. I, I, I use Dr. Wang. Well, usually I use Shu Yi Wang, my, my full name. And then you can see Markdown to Word, Pain Points, blah, blah, presentation interface. And here you can see the, uh, the full image. And then in this part animation, we can see a uh, GIF file inside and it's running and you can see the animation. Okay, I hope it can help you to generate your own beautiful slides. Thank you for your time and I'll see you next time. Bye.